Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading Down to Earth episode 189 to... I'm not sure yet, but you guys will know by the title. So I'm going to read as much as I can before my baby started to fuss. And if I hit episode 200, which is right now, uh, episode 200 is out and it's on a hiatus, then that is great. If not, let's see. So I'm going to try to read as many webtoons, different webtoons as I can. So Ooh, let's go. Let's get started. <gasps> Zeta. Oh my gosh. I, I love, I love outfits with a turtleneck and like it has like a, a long, not like a, like a mid sleeve. Like I think those are so pretty. <gasps> I'm so glad you're okay. You're... You are okay, right? Yes, I am good. I am very sorry to worry you, Susie. Are you hungry? I, I brought some donuts. Donuts? Haven't had these in a minute. They're so good. Mmm. It's been a while for me, too. It's funny because my work... My boss, well, my manager, always comes in with a box of donuts on Fridays. And I try not to eat it, but when I'm hungry, because I do, like, I do pump, you know, I breast milk. And, and yeah, so now that I'm, I nurse my baby, I get hungry. So I eat whatever is there. It is so bad. Uh, mm, uh. Sorry, Zeta. I'm looking because I'm curious. I didn't mean to be rude. Kate updated me over everything. You were worried we would be freaked out over your changes, right? Mm. You know better than that, and now you know for sure. We'll remain your friends no matter what happens, so please don't run off on us again, okay? Uh, uh I will not, but I also worried about how I could continue living on Earth. Since this is a reoccurring thing and I have to keep hi keep hidden, it certainly is not convenient. I suppose I felt hopeless to remain here. But you are correct. I can rely on my friends in time of need. So I will. <laughs> That's right. And if you forget that again, we will have some issues. <laughs> There he is. It's a girl. Oh, what? Why those balloons? Zay, I brought gifts for you. Oh, Ethan. Oh, do not cry. I am okay. Wow, so many gifts. <laughs> I hope to cheer you up today. Um, it's a girl. Oh. <laughs> I was in such a race to get here. Uh, I didn't even re read it. Oops. Sorry, Zeta. Huh? I do not see an issue. I am a lady after all. Mmm, I love it. Pa oh, oh. Oops. Wow. You really did grow yourself a pair of horns. <laughs> yes. Interesting, for sure. The stones on them are so pretty. Do you mind if I touch them? Um... Ethan? Uh, you're being invasive again. Oh, you're, you're right. My bad. It is okay. I trust my friends. Go ahead. Uh, thank you, Zeta. Wow, so cool. <laughs> thank you. Oh, uh, you got me a lot of snacks. Don't think this is your birthday party. Wait, don't think this is your birthday party. These are just welcome back gifts to cheer you up. Mm. The big gifts will be at your actual birthday party. <gasps> Yay! Oh, I am so excited. <laughs> Looks like Cosmo missed you too. Since the gang's all back together, how about we all play a few rounds of Hero, hero Kart? 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> the drawing of it is so funny. They, they, you don't want to get copyrighted strike. Oh, oh, I vote yes. Skirk. Susie, purple shelled me twice in one race. How's that fair? <laughs> Zay, have you decided yet? Oh, yes, I have. Huh? Hmm? What have we decided on? We had a long talk, and I have come to realize I miss it here. In Cade's home, I mean. Susie? Hmm? I really appreciate you letting me stay at your place. I had a wonderful time and had so much fun, but I wish to live with Kate again. We both decided it was a good time to. <laughs> I will miss you, but I know you'll be happy. I say, live where you're happiest. And you, behave, pervert. <laughs> I'll do my best. Oh, have we told Stace that Zeta is okay? Uh oh, about Stace. Can we invite him to my birthday party? Okay, I am curious. Well, like he freaked out. Would you got? Would you? I don't know. Would he actually come, or would he be like, what? WTF? You know, like, it's kind of sweet that even though he reacted so negatively towards Zeta, you know, actual appearance, and yet Zeta still sees him as a friend or so, you know? I don't know. I would just blacklist him, but hey, Zeta's different from us. Or different from me. Can we... Invite Stace to my birthday party? Oh, yeah. Might as well invite him, right? Since he knows the truth now. Do you think he'd go around telling people? Oh. He won't say anything. I'll make sure of that. That's kind of a dark look. May he rest in peace. <laughs> If he comes to the party, we can talk things out so he can better understand who I am. My close friend group will grow a bit tiny, a tiny bit. <laughs> and if I am being honest, I love the thought of that. The less secrets I have to keep, the happier I will feel. Uh. I know you are upset with him. But we should try to understand Stace's point of view as well. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Let them have their moment. Oh. Are we still having the party tomorrow? If so, we'll have to invite him today. I'll talk to him at work. Tomorrow's fine with me. That means your birthday will be... June 2nd. The second day of the sixth month? How fun! I am very excited. Thank you for thank you for all the trouble. I wanted to ask Zay if she wanted to go out, but she can't, at least not right now. Once her horns falls out, I'm going to push myself to go out more so she can get to experience the freedom and fun she deserves. Oh. Hmm. Kate and I have noon shifts today, so we better leave now. I had fun. See you guys. Oh. I hope to see you again. Have a nice day. Susie, is Stace calling sick or something? No, it's unusual for him to not call in if he misses work. A while ago, I messaged him about Zeta being okay. No response, though. Do you think he... Let's try to call him. Ring, 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 click. He didn't even let it go to voicemail. Do you think he's not taking it well? 
the alien stuff? Or he feels guilty about what happened? Maybe both? Cover my shift, Susie. I'll be back. Hey, what? You can't throw your work on me. Where are you going? I'll be back. I'm gonna go check on him. Bing, Cade. Hey, Sherry, what's today's address? Oh, he is in trouble. Click. Are you here to blackmail me? Don't worry, her secret is safe with me. Oh. I'm sure even if I told someone, they wouldn't believe me. Not that I have anyone to talk to about it. So, no worries, you can go now. Hold on a second. Uh, I was actually here to check on you. Ew. <laughs> I'm here to invite you to Zay's birthday party. No. Uh-uh. Huh? Thanks, but he looks pissed. I don't want to go. He was all about freaking Zeta now that she has horns and not, you know, his ideal look, you know, or type or whatever it's called. And now he's like, no, no, thank you. I don't want to be friends with her. Uh, boy, I'm going to drag you out by the ear. Okay, we're at 191, and my baby is chilling. Thanks, but I don't want to go. Huh? You don't want to? But Zay is inviting you. She wants you to go. And you're saying you don't want to go? Isn't this what you wanted from the start? You're always pushing yourself into our friend group. Even before I had friends, you tried to be friendly with me at work. And I, I kept pushing you away like you're doing to me now. <sighs> Sorry for pushing you away constantly and getting annoyed easily. I mean, you did deserve a lot of it. <laughs> you're very annoying. Don't get me wrong, but oh, I think maybe I didn't even give you a chance, so I'm sorry. That's really mature of him. Not a lot of people could own up to that or be able to talk things out. Guess I'll see you around. Wait, you drove all the way he uh, out here? You can... Come in. Click. Whoa. This place is nice. Make yourself at home. Whoa. This is not what I was expecting. For real. Honestly, I, my brain, I was like, if I were to think about states, like, how would I picture his place? And, like, if you guys ever, if you guys ever watch, like, true crime documentary and, like, ever, like, seen... I hate saying it because I try. I only watched one episode of the Jeffrey Dahmer, like they reenact it kind of deal that was so popular last year or so or two years ago. Like has room, the yellow room, and it's just like dark and creepy and yeah, like dirty. I would see that as Stace. Like, is that that's so judgmental? But that's what I pictured. Like, cause he's so weird and desperate, you know. I don't know. That's wrong. But if you guys ever seen it, I only saw one, half or not even half of the episode, the first episode. I got so creeped out, I turned it off. Like, I couldn't finish it. I'm too much of an empath. Um, thanks. <gasps> he has a cat! It looks like a flamey. A flame point Siamese cat. Oh, you have a cat too. Just one. Her name is Princess. Oh. Anyway, how'd you find out where I lived? Were you looking through sensitive files at work? Uh, no. I asked Sherry. So, I heard Zeta is okay. I'm glad. Thanks for not punching me. Oh. I want to apologize for that, too. 
I was definitely being insensitive. Well, how are you doing? You seem to be handling it well. Nope. It's not like I'm trying to avoid you guys. I just couldn't go into work today. <laughs> I haven't been able to sleep since Zeta told me everything. How could I? My life feels like it's been flipped over. Like, what else is real? Ghosts? Dragons? Vampires? And if she's from another planet, what's the other planets like? Is it like ours? And are there other planets out there with beings like us? Is anyone else I know an alien too? <laughs> You're having all the thoughts I had too. It's strange. Really weird stuff, but everything is okay. It doesn't change anything about your life, right? You can still do the same things. Live life like usual. usual. <sighs> Except for Zay. She came here to live the life she wanted. To do whatever she wants to. Staying hidden all the time doesn't, doesn't for her though. Especially now. She can't really hide her abnormalities when they are so ob obvious right now. It makes you not want to take life for granted. And appreciate things you ha have and are given. Ugh. I should get back before Susie has to cover my sh whole shift. Thanks for the drink. I did come by to make sure you were doing okay. And just so you know, Say said she wanted you to go. So the invite still stands. Oh. He feels guilty now. All right, we're going to 192. I'm excited. Might be a whole, might be a finished whole thing. Oh, click. Zeta, happy morning and happy birthday. <gasps> happy morning. Uh, huh? uh, sorry about the mess. I am sure it's gross. No, it's not gross. It's a part of you. And I think it's beautiful. <laughs> I will clean it up and then enjoy my first day of birth celebration. Oh, that's so pretty. That's so fun. I never had stuff like that. Well, in college I had it once where someone like decorate my dorm room to celebrate my birthday and stuff. But never had it like that, where someone, yeah. But I'm excited to do it for my baby. For his first birthday, it's going to be a tradition. <laughs> Kate, it's so cute. Did you do this all while I was asleep? Well, I had a Ethan help a few days ago and had the decoration hidden. <gasps> What's up? Uh, nothing. I am ready. Give me the most earthling birthday I can experience. Will do. Oh, happy birthday, Zeta. Happy birthday, Zeta. Thank you so much. Are you certain I was not supposed to get you all anything? This is how a birthday works. It's a day all about you. We appreciate you. We are... Ugh. We appreciate it, Zeta, but we will have our own birthdays, too. It feels strange that I am getting all the attention. You are too good for this world. Sorry for the wait. I'm ready now. Mmm, he's clean up nice. Whoa, look at you. That shirt was a good buy. Oh, wow. All right. Open your gifts. Woo! From Susie. The dress is beautiful. I love it. <gasps> Colored pencils. Thank you, Ethan. Susie, <gasps> where did you get this? This bag is amazing, Ethan. Ta-da! Oh, this bag is also amazing, Susie. Oh. <gasps> oh, oops. You got the same bag. How? That color made me think of Zeta. My bad. Yeah, that's why I got it too. 
It does happen. You always get a dupe of something, especially if you guys don't communicate about like what you're getting for someone. For like for our baby shower, we got the same books. Like I think almost two or three copies of the same book, and I was like, oh, well, that's fine. Last gift, and it's from Kate. Sure. Oh. <gasps> Huh? What is it? Patience. Do you like it? <laughs> I absolutely love this. That's so cute. Happy birthday to you. Oh, they're clapping. That's so cute. Phew. Did I do it correctly? Yep. Now we eat. I really want to express my gratitude to you all. I could have lived on any other ha habit. Hi, how do you say that word? Hab habitable planet. But I'm happy to be here. Cause I cannot live without you guys. Oh, we can't live without you either. It's time we head back home. Wow, Stace never showed up. See you guys again soon. Happy night. What? What's wrong? All day today. You were worried I would not have the perfect day. And you were very disappointed that Stace did not show up. So much you stressed yourself out. <gasps> oh. Uh. He showed up pretty late. Am I too late? Hell yeah! What are you running on? Asian time? Okay. 193. I did come by just to make sure you were doing okay. And just so you know, they said she wanted to go, wanted you to go. So the invite still stands. Oh. Click. Uh. He forgave me, and it sounded like Zeta did too. Shh, but like, I still feel bad for how I acted. At the same time, I'm still in shock. That crap actually happened? Oh, t -t 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 are aliens real? <laughs> real UFO sightings. What scientists know about aliens so far? Ten reason reasons why you should believe in extraterrestrials i looked through several websites and i still can't find a solid answer meaning only we know about this zeta's people are they dangerous oh the cat's eating chowing down oh the baby's fussing are we safe Oh, should I go? Do I want to go? And what are my feelings now? I confessed. You're the first person I met that caught my eye in a romantic setting. My baby's, my baby's gonna look at me. Was shown the truth. Uh. <laughs> oh, he's just... You smell. And reacted without thinking. I'm no better than them. Uh, am I too late? Uh, oh, everyone's already left, but it's not too late. Uh, happy birthday. Thank you, Cease. Oh, my stars. I love this. Such a cute little thing. I wasn't sure if this was a an appropriate gift. But Spinners just recently got alien themed stuff. So Earthlings think this is how is what I look like? Do you think they'll be disappointed? Oh, sorry. I just noticed you're you look different. It is okay. My appearance was alarming to all my friends too. Yeah, the horns are new. 
Turns out they're not permanent though. Sorry guys, let me fix my shirt. What? Okay, let me put him up as I finish this read. Oh. <laughs> okay. You want to read with me? You want to read with me? Here, I'll tap this thing down. This is my nugget. Okay. They're not permanent though. Yes. This is why I desired a break from modeling. Once they are gone, I will be good to go. Oh. Mm. Unless you are going to set me on fire? Oh, do you mean fire you? <laughs> no, sorry. I'm still adjusting to all of this. Which one, Baba? Very comfortable? Want to take this chance? chance to apologize for how I reacted. You're so kind and understanding. You've been that way since we met and that's what truly matters. That's how you should judge someone, not by what they look like outside. Stace? It's okay. It would be odd if you did not react how you did. Uh-oh. -uh. Thanks, but there's more I should apologize for. Kate, I'm sorry for calling you by other names on purpose and for firing you suddenly and for hiring you again throughout persuasions, for taking your seat at the movies beside Zeta. And Zeta, I'm sorry for being a creep and not telling you I knew the idea was fake. I'm sorry for interrupting your dinner and getting so drunk. You had to take me home and any other things I've done to make either of you uncomfortable. Okay, you've worked with me at Spinners for a while now. I had many chances to just ask to be your friend, but I waited until after I saw you with a pretty girl and I did it in an inappropriate way. Then I caught feelings for Zeta and saw you as a rival act as stupid towards you and it's no wonder why I have no friends or never had a girlfriend. I'm such a crappy person. I can't do anything right. I thought being successful with a good career is all that mattered. But I'm lonely. Uh, I forgive you. It's okay, man. Let's call a truce and start over. Oh. I'd like that. That is so sweet and it takes a lot of courage. You guys think it's like so easy to apologize to someone, but it's really hard. It's really hard to admit to all the mistakes you have ever done, like ever. Hello, what are you doing? But, oh, I like that. He apologized for almost everything that he could remember that he had done. And it's pretty shocking now that we sit here and we regret we read through everything he had purposely done to piss off the other person. Oh, my baby's pooping. Hold on, let me lay him flat so he can poop freely. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye! 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 <laughs> Bye, guys.